Welcome back everybody. Uh, today we're going to be doing a quick refresh on a Japanese racer, uh, Kamisori. And uh, this is not a how to hone a uh, Kamisori. There's a lot of good videos out there to do that. Uh, GSX gun has two and uh, Alex Gilmore has one I think or two. Uh, lots of great videos on how to do it but I just gonna show you how how do I refresh one so right now I'm using a Tsushima uh, stone to refresh and this is a very soft stone and I usually use uh, 10 to 1 ratio or 7 to 1 it don't matter so let's do it So I wasn't using the entire stone in the way back because I wanted to keep that ratio. This point I'm not using a lot of pressure or no pressure at all. I'm just trying to make sure that I am contacting the stone always. There's a lot of slurry there. Let's rinse it off a little bit. And this stone is really soft. But, I actually have shaven off of this stone. It's really, really nice. Uh, the shave was not something to brag about. Uh, I will not do that again. Um, I think uh, it's not meant to be a finisher. But I wanted to see if I could finish on it. So, and I did. Now I don't have to do it again. This is a long stone, I don't know if you've seen. Uh, it's like eight and a half by three. It's a big chunk. Um, that's why I'm doing one full stroke and then just a little bit on the opposite side. So that will be enough uh, as of now for this stone. Now we're gonna go to a Nosuku. That's where I'm gonna finish it. Put that to the side. I'm gonna do my Osuku Copa. Let's get that wet. Put that there. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use be, be using a, a Tucinema, to see the shoes. Ha, <laughs> can't I even pronounce this. Stone as well, but this one is actually really hard compared to, this is a Tomo. Uh, or a Nagura and uh, it's actually pretty hard and the slurry of it is really nice gives me a very good feedback 
It's definitely not the, the did not come from the same place or it was not a chunk from that stone that we just used. See how long it takes to raise a slurry on this one? It's because they're both really stuck really hard. Obviously the suku is harder. So Then we're gonna be doing the same thing. Make a face towards you so you guys can see. That slurry is already nice and dark. Check it out. It's looking really good. Let's rinse this off. Just do the finish. And that should be it. Just to finish it, I'm gonna raise the slurry straight from the suku. And I'm gonna do the same. All right. And that's basically uh, what I do. And then this is this is what I usually do. It, don't take this as a, the only way to uh, refresh your your kamisori. Uh, just showing you a variation on how do I do it. Uh, 
my experience with camisores is not a lot, but so far, the once the bevel is nice and set, they're really easy to hone uh, and refresh. So now I'm just gonna do it with water uh, a couple more times, and then I should be good. So. I'm getting a lot of sticky on both sides. So let's do some stropping. Get back to it and we should be good. Now, to strop these razors, I strop them the same way I strop any other razor. So. Final touches, and we should be good. Let's rinse this off really nicely. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one. One, there you have it guys, um, that's how I refresh my camisores, it took 13 minutes and that's with me talking all the, the talk that I do. Uh, stones that I use, uh, Tushima, Tushina uh, stone, the giant stone. Uh, Usually I use it for kitchen knives, but I wanted to hunt with it. It's been a minute since I used it. And uh, Osuku with a Tusina, tusina uh, Nagura. And then I use the Suku just uh, with a regular DMT slurry and then with just water. And she should be good for at least uh, a good while. And then that's how usually I refresh it. Uh, any questions, please let me know. Have a good one.